Radius is a distributed client-server architecture that secures networks against unauthorized access. Radius clients run on supported Cisco routers and switches. Clients send authentication requests to a central Radius server, which contains all user authentication and network service access information. Access is permitted when authenticated. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll start the process of setting up a Radius server and Radius clients using CBS switches. Next. There are three main tasks I'll complete in this two-part demonstration. I'll set up a Radius server on a CBS 350 switch, configure that same switch as a Radius client for confirmation, and I'll add a Radius client on a CBS 250 switch for further verification. To get started on the CBS 350 switch, access the web user interface and make sure you are in advanced mode. This can be found on the top right-hand side of the screen. Then navigate to Security, select Radius Server, and then Radius Server Global Settings. Enable the Radius Server status and click Apply. Select Radius Server Keys from the menu. In the plain text box, I will use Cisco Tech Talk Radius Server for the secret key, and then click Apply. Under the Secret Key table, click the plus button. The secret key table is important because it sets the IP address in the encrypted key for the Radius clients. I will enter the address for the CBS 350, which is 192.168.89.127. Use the same secret key of Cisco Tech Talk Radius server and click apply. To do the same for the CBS 250, I'll enter its address of 192.168.89.138 Add the same secret key, click apply, and then close. Now looking back at the secret key table, the two entries have been added. The secret keys match the Radius server secret key. Great, click apply. Move down and select Radius server groups from the menu and click the plus button. Give the group a name. I'll use Radius admin and upgrade the privilege level to 15. I won't make any configuration changes for the VLAN. When complete, click Apply and Close. Next, switch over to the Radius Server Users page. Click the Add button to create the first user. For this demonstration, I'll enter Admin for a simple username and password. It's highly recommended that you choose something more secure. You can see that the group name created for my Radius Server group Radius Admin is shown here. Click Apply, then Close. The next step is to scroll down to Management Access Authentication and change the application to HTTPS. Under Optional Methods, select Radius and then the arrow to move it to the Selected Methods box. Since Local was there by default, it's listed first. You want Radius to be the first for authentication, so select Local move it to the left, and then add it back. Now Radius will be used first. Click Apply. Head to Security, and then Radius Client. Under the Radius table, select the plus button. To configure the switch, use the IP address of the CBS 350 as the Radius server and use the same key string. Set the priority to one. Click Apply, then Close. That's it for the first half of the process. Click the link in the description for part two, where the configurations and verifications will be completed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.